Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Eric the Old Jarhead here. And today I wanna to introduce you to the Bouge RV 200 watt flexible solar panel and the Bouge RV 30 amp Sunflow MPPT charge controller. When I first built my cabin and built my off-grid power for my cabin, the most cost-effective thing I could buy or whatever I could afford were polycrystalline panels. That was it. That's all I could afford. They were about a buck a watt. And they were maybe not totally state-of-the-art back in 2010, but that's what people were buying and that's what I put in. And it never occurred to me way back then that you could get something like this. These are fairly new and I don't know if you noticed, but when I push on that, it's totally flexible. In fact, they say these can bend 270 degrees lengthwise. You can only bend them about 180 degrees from top to bottom. Now that's already kind of incredible. And I thought, well, how the heck would you use something like that? <laughs> these are basically really common to use on boats and RVs. Now, one of the reasons is because they're IP68 certified. IP65 is water resistant, but IP68 is you can submerse it in water. Now, the next thing I thought was, well, how the heck am I gonna install this thing? Because I have a rigid solar panel on the roof of my camper, and it actually originally came with a 25 watt one, and you could get, I think, 160 at the time, but I wasn't gonna use solar a whole lot on my camper. I have a generator, I was gonna be happy with that, but I'm sure as you realize, as technology advances and things get better and better and more cost effective, i.e. cheaper, well then you start looking at other options. And I was seriously looking at upgrading the solar on my camper because I just recently put in a couple heated LiPo 4 batteries and a new DC converter that could do LiPo 4. So I thought, okay, it's time to move into a little more solar. But I like having a generator. I think it's a great option. And I think with a lot of battery backup, it'll work fine for me. But having 200 watts on the roof, or possibly 400, and I've got to look at the roof of my camper to see if I can get two of these up there. But even with just 200 watts, I know that that, under most conditions, is gonna keep my camper's batteries fully topped up. I'm gonna be perfectly fine. So I was seriously thinking about upgrading the solar on the camper. And in fact, recently I did some videos on upgrading for my camper, which is an Arctic Fox 990. It's a 10 foot slide in camper, very well insulated four season camper. So my thought was, you know what? Let's look at solar panels. And then Bouge RV came to me and they offered to send me this. So yes, it was free. So please bear that in mind, but I tend to be honest on all of my reviews. I've certainly had some companies that didn't like my reviews because, well, I wasn't that impressed with their equipment. But in this case, I did some testings and everything I saw on this Bouge RV Flex solar panel was good. Now, there were a few people that have minor issues, but Bouge RV has great support and they went ahead with their warranty and replaced the panels that had problems on one video that I saw. So. Considering all that, I thought, well, this would be great. And then I found out that Bouge RV also makes a sticky tape, two double-sided tape that you can use to mount this to the top of your camper without even using screws. Now, me personally, maybe because I'm an old Marine, I'm probably gonna put some screws in too with some die core to make sure everything's waterproof. But I like the idea of being able to remove the panel that I have up there, which is a rigid 50 watt solar panel with an aluminum frame. I like the idea of removing that, cleaning all that up, and then gluing this right down on top of where that was and plugging it into the system. Now, I think my Z-Amp controller in the camper is not really set up for the kind of power I might wanna put through it. So I decided, you know what, what I would do is I would get this panel and probably buy another one, that's my plan, to put 400 watts on the roof as long as I have the space for it and the Bouge RV Sunflow 30 amp controller. So we've got the potential to put a lot of power through the system with, well, this guy right here. Well, the first thing I wanted to do was test this. Now, I'll be honest, I've had it for a little while, but the weather has been really rainy and I'm in the desert in Eastern Washington. Believe it or not, most of Washington is, you know, the ever brown state, not the evergreen state. That, that's the, the, the west part of the state. Once you get over the mountains, two thirds of the state at least are high desert and arid forests where there's really not a lot of rain. So we get sun, I think the rating is 260 days out of the year of full sun. That's crazy, but guess what? <laughs> it's been cloudy and raining for weeks now. 
but today we finally got some decent weather and a friend of mine came over to help me set up some different panels and a power station and things and start testing each of them out. And so we went ahead and we hooked up this solar panel just leaning against the wall to see what kind of power it would produce. And it did pretty well considering that it was never in direct sunlight and we kept having clouds come in and out and obscure the sun. I think we got 140 watts out of it during that time. Now, you might say it's a 200 watt solar panel. How come you didn't get 200 watts? Well, you're not gonna get 200 watts unless you got full sun and it's perfectly aligned to the sun. In fact, during my testing, some of the other panels I had, the voltage was dropping too low for the power station we were using and it would just drop off to zero. But when I hooked up the Bouge RV flexible 200 watt solar panel, guess what? It never dropped out. It produced good voltage so that it was constantly producing good power. That impressed me. I thought that was pretty cool, especially because it's flexible and it's kind of hard to get leaning up against the wall and have it completely flat. We got it pretty well set up, I think, and you can see that here, but <laughs> it wasn't ideal. It's the best I had, and believe it or not, the sun was only out for a short window of time, so I really wasn't able to get it in full sunlight, direct overhead, perfectly aimed and everything else, but I have no doubt it's going to produce well. Now, let's talk about this panel because there are some things about it that I think are pretty unique. Now, I mentioned that this is IP68 rated, so it's fully waterproof, but it's also a layered type panel with various components. It's really tough. It can withstand high winds, heavy snow loads, lots of water. You can try to scratch it and you won't. In fact, well, you can, you can run metal across it. Doesn't seem to scratch at all. You stick a screwdriver and drive it down there. It doesn't scratch. So it's really resistant to damage can take a lot of weight, 23% efficiency, which is actually pretty high. Again, totally waterproof, totally flexible. You can glue it down to the roof of your camper. Now they rate this panel at 200 watts, plus or minus 5%. I have found that that's pretty common with solar panels. And it, it, again, it, it, if they're not aimed perfectly at the sun, you're never gonna know how good they really are. You've gotta get them perfectly aligned. So enough said about that. Now their power output warranty is 25 years at 80% output. So they're saying that this panel should, should last 25 years with at, and then be at 80%. So in theory, if they're correct, which they do have a good warranty, this panel should produce for as long as I'm ever gonna own my camper. Now the material and workmanship warranty on this is five years. So you got a five year warranty on materials and workmanship and 25 years on output to 80%. That's outstanding, folks. Operating temperatures, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it is just over 58 inches long and 30 inches wide, but it's just a few millimeters thick. It's very thin. They rate it at 0 0.08 inches. Now I won't be installing this on my camper until the spring. It's just too cold and I do gotta get my hand back in shape because I still don't have much grip power between my thumb and my finger and I can't even touch the other fingers just yet. So I've got, I've got about a month's worth of, of, of rehab still, of physical therapy on my hand to get it fully working again. Now the reason I wanted to go ahead and switch from the Z-Amp controller to the Bouge RV Sunflow 30 amp controller is because I wanna be able to put two of these on the roof of my camper if I've got the room for them, and I may. This charge controller is bigger than the one that's in the camper now. The one that's in the camper now sits flush on the wall, and if I install this one in the same place, I'm going to have to mount it to the wall, but I think I can go ahead and install it right over where the other one is. That's the plan, so we'll see. Now, let's talk about the features on this guy here. So with this controller, it's rated at 12 and 24 volts, so you could have either or. Obviously, in my camper, it'll be 12 volts, and it's rated at 450 watts at 12 volts. So with these two panels, that's about all I'm gonna get is around 400 watts. It also has a Bluetooth app, which in this case, I like. Now, in previous videos, I've mentioned that I don't like apps on power stations, but I do like them on charge controllers, and it's one of the reasons I upgraded one of my charge controllers at my cabin, because it's really kind of nice to be able to sit in the cabin and pull up what I'm getting off my solar panels on the ground. Well, again, it'll be nice in the camper to be able to use that app 
to see what I'm getting on my panel. So that's gonna be a nice feature that I don't have today. It has a battery operating voltage of eight volts to 32. So we're good to go there. The no load loss is less than or equal to 10 milliamps. So really it's not gonna use a whole lot of power when I'm not getting any solar out of it. It also protects against over voltage and over tamp and all that kind of stuff. So this is a pretty sturdy <laughs> controller right here. And I have to admit that I don't like things that are really, really light. I find them cheap. So I like the fact that this has got a little weight to it. It's a pretty simple setup. Pull the top off, screw your terminals in, plug in a, a temp sensor that you can run to your batteries because it does have temperature protection as well. And then it also has some other plugs that we'll be getting into when I do the install. And I have found that Bouge RV equipment is really well made. They've got some great support. I've been pretty impressed with them all in all. I think it's gonna be great on my camper and I'm really excited about getting this installed. So there will be a new video coming out sometime in the spring about them, but I just wanted to bring them to you now. So again, thanks to Bouge RV for sending these to me to play with. There you have it, folks. If you're interested in checking out the Bouge RV flexible solar panel or the, the Sunflow 30 amp MPPT controller or any of their stuff, I will drop a link down below for you to check out. I appreciate you watching, folks. I'm gonna drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.